As you can see, the farmer finally came making the hay in our field. That is very, very late in the year. We're now July 18, I think, or 17. But it looks like summer has finally returned here to Burgundy. We've had at least a week of heavy rain and I wanted to do a small makeover of our bedroom. So we have one guest room, future guest room finished. It doesn't have a door, it doesn't have a bathroom. We get lots of reservations for it and bookings. People hoping that they can book it already, but honestly there is no door, there is no bathroom. Uh, it is just for friends and family at the moment. So for example, our friend is staying there and new friends are coming tomorrow. But um, that's a really nice room. It's, it's a room we, we created with everything we wanted for the room. It is the perfect atmosphere. I love it. It is the vibe that I wanted. And it makes me so happy every time I see that bedroom. Uh, and then I go to our bedroom and I'm going, okay, hmm. it doesn't even come close to that vibe. So I said to Olaf, I know we're breaking all of this down. I'm currently sitting in our current living room, which uh, all of this part of the house will be renovated. And, you know, we're going to knock everything down. But we said when we moved in, we said, well, we're going to change all of this within six to 12 months. That was two and a half years ago. So... I am going to work on our bedroom. I am giving it a low budget or no budget makeover. And of course, I'm going to share with you what I did and what it looks like now. Okay, one final thing I wanted to say while editing this video, I could see that the sound again is really very bad. I don't know, there's something wrong with my phone. Um, actually, I bought a professional camera about two and a half years ago. But my husband stole that from me because he started a YouTube channel ever since we started renovating this farmhouse. He has a really nice channel, but it's in Dutch. And he uses this, this camera every day now to film, uh, so I can't have it. So I'm using my phone. I'm sorry. I will look at how I can improve this. It seems to be happening way more often now. Um, some of you have also asked if I could share more about our renovations. But again, that is my husband's thing. I just do simple makeovers and, and fun stuff that I want to share on my channel. And um, my husband has really got a very interesting channel and very extensive about all the renovations that we're doing. But again, it's in Dutch. Anyway, I will put the link in the description so you can check that out if you want. You can see he also explains how we do things, why we do them that way. And you can also just watch him do it so it's not just talking like i do most of the time um so yeah um but again the sound of this vlog is not going to be what it needs to be and i'll try to get that fixed for future vlogs and here for example as you can see we've done part of the building works uh, which is why we have this ugly wall here this is the bedroom as the previous owners um, made it you can basically see this like this is the barn the big barn next to the house well it's attached to the house but next to the living area and the previous owners basically just put a box like a concrete box in the barn and that is our bedroom so they just this is this is just how they do it and they also created um, a bathroom here which is no longer a bathroom actually now is it's honestly horrible but when we started working on our renovation projects we took out the uh, shower that was here and Olaf created this um, door to the barn <laughs> which is where I am now and honestly I'm sharing this with you because some of you have said can you please share more of the renovations well welcome to a French farmhouse that is being renovated. This is what that looks like. So what I plan to do is paint that cabinet, take out that um, piece of wood, and we're going to make some um, shelves. Shelving is what we're using this for uh, in the kitchen. Uh, I really don't want to do too much because it's, you know, everything that you see, everything that you're looking at is going to be broken down in six to 12 months. Like all of the walls, the ceiling, this wall is going to go, it is all going to go. This is going to go, 
the, the, the previous bathroom. We're going to take the floor out. We'll have a new concrete floor in here to create the kitchen. I think only the window will stay, even that might be different. Um, so I just don't want to touch it too much and spend too much time on it. But I think I may look at the floor and see if I can maybe sand it to make it lighter. And I'd like to have a new light fixture if I can get Olaf to do that for me. And that is an awful color. I might try to just paint that. It looks like if I really want this to look nice, it will take me two days and that's just not worth the time. For all the woodwork in the house so far, I've only used a brand, branded, a well-known brand, well I can, might as well just tell you the brand, the Ferra and Ball paint, which is a highly criticized paint, because many people say they're overly expensive and they're just paying because it's, you know, they market it really well, and, but since this was a low or no budget project, I decided I didn't want to buy new paint. I had some leftover white that I wanted to use. I have not bought any paint so far until yesterday for this when I realized that um, the color was too white and I was not going to put in all the work and I'm not be satisfied with the result. So I went to our local uh, hardware store and bought this, I don't know, the, I know the wall paint for this non-brand is pretty good but I have to say this is just awful this is taking me at least twice as long as all the woodwork that I've painted using Farrow and Ball so I'm in no way affiliated with them <laughs> the difference is just amazing I've done all the exterior woodwork uh, interior woodwork with my Farrow and Ball paint and it's just heavenly. All the woodwork that you've seen me paint in um, uh, the veranda, the porch renovation or the porch makeover, that was uh, all that, that sage green, that was Farrow and Ball and I can tell you I, it only took me a day to do all of that and I know I've been spending way too much time on this thing using this cheap paint. Anyway, I'll keep going.
to sit here and read my magazine that you may know if you live in France. It's called Home, Découvrir, S'inspirer, Ralentir, Se Lancer. It's probably the best magazine I know on home decorations and also on just slow living. Here come the hard workers. <laughs> Anyway, I was going to say, before we all sat here, I mentioned this magazine that I really like. It's this really, you know, it's the style that I like, kind of houses that I like. So if you're ever in France or if you live in France, do try it. But while I was having my coffee, I was asking myself whether or not I would still have these. I bought these, I think, right after we bought the house. Because it's not really the style that I would go for now. I would go for a more clean and rustic look, probably. But it, I think it is the style I had in mind for when we initially thought this would be our holiday home. So I went looking and I found them. So it's... It's sort of a trying to look like French French lilies, I don't know. I'm going to see if they maybe are nice on the wall that I just painted white. Uh, just to hang some clothes or maybe just because that wall looks kind of what's the word messy now. Um, this whole project is an exercise for me in letting go of my perfectionism. I wouldn't say perfectionism, I just like it when things get really, really beautiful. Like I see the potential and I look at it and I go, if, if I would just change that, it would be even more beautiful. And it's really hard to not do that now because, again, this is going to be gone. We're going to tear the whole thing down. I don't want to put in the money and not too much time either. So, so far I've only spent 25 bucks on paint. I've also just remembered that I think I have a light fixture that we had in the Netherlands and there's a nice story to that that I will tell you when I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see I'm really making nice progress on this makeover. So are Olaf and our friend on the tiny house but then um, we were getting kind of frustrated just from all the work and physical work and then my oldest son suggested we go do something fun. So our youngest son was at a birthday party that day and then my oldest son said why don't we go do the Vélo Rail which is an old train track between Autun and Saulieu so that's in uh, the Morvan, a natural park it's an old train track that has been in use until 12, 2011 I think and is now turned into, you know, you can get one of those bike things and put it on the track and cycle which is really fun so we decided to do this in the night time. We've done it during the day, so now we decided to go see what that was like in the evening. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that
bit of the floor sanding it with the small sanding machine. I just wanted to get a quick feel for how much work it would be and then when I saw that it hardly came off I said I'm not going to do this but I know that Olaf my husband has another machine so I said to him do you think it may be easier with that machine and he said probably so we took it out and I tried a little bit and it was amazing. The paint came off so quickly and the floor underneath was so beautiful that I decided to sand the whole floor with that thing. But then I quickly find out, I don't know why, we can't explain it, that the discs that are supposed to stick to the bottom of the sanding thing, they just kept coming off. It was horrendous. It must be the most frustrating thing I have ever done. Um, so I just... You know, when I have something in my head, I will get it finished. So I just kept on going until it was finished. I didn't sand the floor under the bed. I figured nobody's ever going to see that. So, but I was, in the end, very happy that I did because it looks so much nicer now. If I can get this floor all light like this, it's going to be so beautiful. <laughs> stage, the final project of the makeover, and I'm happy it is because I'm really exhausted. I sanded this floor, <laughs> no comment. So I've got my good paint, all I'll do now is put the primer coat on because this will be the window of our future kitchen, so again all this will be broken down in 6 to 12 months to have our large kitchen and then this will be the window and it might even be black, I don't know, I don't have the image in my head yet of what that will look like but I said I will not use any lousy paint for it, I will use my favorite paint to put at least the primer coat that is a nice neutral uh, with a hint of green, um, that will probably be okay for now and go with the rest. You can't see it, but I can see the rest of the room is finished. All I will need to do is put some decorations in and make the bed afterwards. And then I can show you. I'm so happy this is finished because, again, I'm exhausted. I sand at the floor until 2 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Said I wanted to show you a couple of items that I've used in this room that have quite a story to them. 
Um, this painting is a drawing by Gustav Klimt. I don't know if you know him. I really, really like his style. And I found this at IKEA in 2001. I bought this when I had bought my first house. It moved with me when I moved in with Olaf. It moved with us when we moved to another house. And then it moved again with us to, you know, the next house. And then the other item that I wanted to show you is a very similar story. Again, I bought this for my first house. And I remember when I bought that house, it was a really nice style, early 20th century uh, house, high ceiling, uh, wooden fishbone uh, floor. It was, it just, it was, it was magical. And I remember when I bought the house, I was studying French at the time, that I wanted to really decorate it in a French style. And I found this light fixture and put it in my room, in my bedroom, and I got rid of it when we bought our last house in the Netherlands. <laughs> and then, because I thought, you know, I'm, I've seen it, you know, I want another style, and then I started decorating the room. I am, ended up buying the exact same one, a new one. And then when I was redecorating this space, I was thinking, wait, maybe that light fixture is somewhere in our storage here, somewhere in the barn. And I said to Olaf, do you think we have that light fixture here? And he said, yes, I know exactly where it is. And he put it up for me uh, and it's really lovely. And the other thing that I wanted to show you is this bed. Again, this bed, I had it when I had my first house. But when I moved in with Olaf, I gave it to a friend because I didn't need it anymore. Um, and then when we were looking for furniture for this house, and again, I'm reminding you, this was supposed to be our holiday home when we bought it in 2018. And we only had one weekend to take furniture and stuff here, uh, just, just to make sure that we could live in this for the holidays. So we were looking online to find a bed and to find uh, furniture and couches and stuff for the kitchen and everything, because we weren't taking any of our furniture in the Netherlands with us, because we were still living in the Netherlands at the time. Uh, but the thing is, the beds in France, we could have bought it here in France, but the beds typically are 140 wide meters, that is 1 meter 40 centimeters wide, 1 meter 90 centimeters long. Now we are very tall, so that is way too short for us. So in the Netherlands we had a bed that's 180 wide, 2 meters and 10 centimeters long. So we only had this small window where we could find a bed, and so we went looking on this marketplace, marktplatz in the Netherlands, which is eBay, kind of Le Bon Coin in French. Um, and so we went looking for a bed and I found this exact size that we needed because we already had the mattresses, we bought them. And I was looking at the picture going, it looks so familiar and then I realized it is the exact same bed, just another size uh, that I bought for my house like 15 years before that. So it's just so many coincidences. I look at this room now and it just makes me think of my house that I had in Utrecht where all of these elements, the bed, the lamp and also the painting are, are the same. And I didn't realize until I was putting all of this in the room thinking, whoa. And now even the basket that I had that I put on, uh, on the, the cabinets here is a gift. I actually got it from a French friend right after I bought my first house in 2001. Now before I show you how this room turned out, here's just a little reminder of what it looked like before.